has the international break come at a decent time allowed you to sort of work on some stuff over the couple of weeks? Yeah, uh, for sure. That came at a good time for us. Um, the last one, not so much because we was in a good place. But the last few games, I think we needed that break to to fix some problems that that we had. Does that suggest that you could identify what those problems were? That you knew what the problems were that you wanted to fix? Yeah. I've known for a little while what the problems were, but it was just having the time to, to fix them. When you're playing Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, it's crazy. You don't get no time on a training pitch to, to go through certain things that you need to. Um, we seem to be making the same mistakes, and, and you can show them on, on the telly, but it's different than, than working it live on the training pitch, but then if you do it live on the training pitch and you, you're sapping energy for a game that you've got to play in 24 hours, so this break has definitely given us time to tweak a few things because before the last break we, we had four clean sheets in six games, so we've just had to tweak a couple of things to, to put them right. I know the analysis suggested that the performances haven't necessarily dropped off completely, it was a case that the fine margins, mm -hmm. goals that were being taken before, not being taken now, and mistakes being made about were being punished. And that's the league, and that's why everyone loves football. Um, but you just don't want it to happen to your team, do you? And, and, and unfortunately it's our turn. It's our turn to not get the rubber to green and, and not finish the chances that, that we should be. And, and then getting punished from, from one attempt, you know, that, that's, in, in our last game, I think we was on top, first 15, 20 minutes, they didn't even get near our goal, we hit the post, we had chance after chance, and then their first shot, they scored from 25 yards in the top corner, and we hadn't really done anything wrong. But that's, that's football, and we have to learn from that, and because we was so focused on trying to get that first goal sometimes I'd say we left ourselves a little bit vulnerable defensively. Um, something that I still feel that we should have been able to cope with but we didn't so like I said now we've been working on, on, on them situations and we've had time to do so. Is that something that you really enjoy <coughs> that time to be able to you know, get really into the coaching side? Yeah because it's, it's it's improving people as individuals and, and improving your team. Since I've come, again, I stand by this, every single player has improved as an individual. And, and the team has improved. Before I came, we never had 18 shots in a game. We were getting like four, five, and then nicking the game one nil. Near enough every game that we played in, even Fulham, we lost 4-1 against Fulham. Could have been four all, five all, and probably should have been. But it was just that little bit of quality in front of goal that, that lacked that night and has, has seemed to carry on since then. So all we can keep doing, me as a coach, is keep trying to tell them the right things, make us be able to create them chances, get us from A to B to C for them chances to happen. If we wasn't creating any, then I'd worry more. Um, because I know as a group, we ain't going to carry on missing the chances that we've been creating, it's impossible. Momentum is so important in football. You, you see it all the time. Clubs get on a run, as you said, before the previous international break. You had that positive momentum. Mm. Reversing negative momentum is just as you know, hard. So how do you feel? Do you feel confident that you can reverse that soon? Yes, because when I first arrived, I'd say that the club was at rock bottom. There's an atmosphere around the place when I arrived in the last season and everybody had written this football club off and, and said that we was going to be relegated. There was a team below us that was four points behind with four games in hand, something crazy. Um, and, and we turned it around, so I believe in, in myself. I've done it before, I, I know we can do it again. Um, the players, believe it or not, they're, they're still in a good place because we haven't been horrendous. Taking away Peterborough, that was a bad game. But one in 20-odd since I've been here, I'll take one. 
because in the Forest game and, and the game before that, Preston, like, look, Preston are a side that have been building for years. Forest are a side that have been building for years to, to try and get out of this division. And, and yes, we lost on the day, but we competed with them and, and, and now we're going toe to toe with these teams. Final one for me, obviously, on this particular game. I mean, Albion have started the season very impressively. What have you made of them? And so they should do. They've just come down from the Premiership and they've kept all their players and they've improved their squad. So they, they should be doing well. Um, they've got a lot of good players. Their players in the attacking third stand out to me more than anybody. They, when they get a chance, they, they punish you. Um, they've got pace, strength. Their strength in depth in the squad is very good. So they've got a certain way of playing and it works for them. So uh, on, on tomorrow night, we, we have to be ready. We have to be ready to compete because if you don't compete, then they run over the top of you. Cheers. Central. Um, just a word on the Friday night fixture under the lights. Are you, are you a fan of that type of fixture? Do you think it adds to the it adds to the uh, the atmosphere? Yeah, I think it adds to the atmosphere. Whenever there's a game under lights, whenever it's Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, it, it's a special occasion. Uh, the atmospheres for me are always better. I don't know why. Um, but these are the nights why you want to play football. So there shouldn't really be much for me to say to my players walking out before the game because they're the nights why you want to play football. Local derby, under the lights, atmosphere balancing. I'm sure the stadium will be near on full, if not full. Our fans will be making their noise and I'm looking forward to it. Just talking about momentum, is this one of those games that you feel, you know, if you can win, it'll be the kickstart to a, a few good results? Yeah, yeah, but I, I think that that's just a matter of time before that comes and, and happens. I think I have a group of players that can go on a winning run or an unbeaten run. We just need that first break to, to come and, and no one hands you anything, you, you have to earn it and, and we've done it before. And, and there's no reason why we can't can't do it again. Obviously, the last time you played West Brom was in a pre-season, you know, on the end of the four-nil loss. Do you do you dismiss a result like that? Is it is it meaningless? Well, you learn from it. I like to think we learn from that, and, and it'd be interesting to see how far we've come as a team from from that result in in, in pre-season. So. They showed what a good side they are on, on the day and we've got to improve from that. But I like to think from when we played them to where we are now, I think we're a different team. But we, we have to get things right on the night and, and if we do that and we compete with them, then, then we've, got, we've got a good chance. And obviously West Brom are coming off the back of a, a defeat at Stoke. Did, obviously you've watched that, have you sort of delved into how Stoke were able to, to get a win? Uh, yeah, Stoke was very good on the night and they was the better team and, and deserved to win. Um, I thought they was very brave in, in the way they played. There was two or three occasions off the top of my head that I can picture that, that they could have easily have been through one and one against Stoke. And, and it was just the, the lack of quality in the last final pass. So they was brave, Stoke, and, and it paid off for them. But I think the result could have easily have gone the other way. But overall, Stoke deserved to win. They took their chance. And um, yeah, we, we've learned a bit from that. But not much that I didn't already know. I know that, that the way they play, West Brom, because obviously we played in pre-season and, and I know what quality they have. Um, but yeah, watching that game, then Stoke done really well. Yeah, How's Ivan Sanchez been getting on Gaffer the last couple of weeks? Is he coming more back into your thinking now? Well, Ivan started training with us on Monday. Um, the plan is with Ivan to give him 45 minutes on Saturday. There's a, a game on Saturday. So hopefully he's all right between now and then. Then he will play 45 on Saturday. 
Gary Gardner, another one that comes back into thinking after his suspension. He played some minutes with the 23s the back end of last week. Does he come back into to your thinking for this one as well? Is yeah. it a good option to have? It's a good option because he's someone that we definitely missed. Uh, feels like such a time ago that we played Peterborough. So, um, yeah, it's good to, to, to have him amongst the squad again. He's a good option for us. Just a word on Albion as well. They have gone with a three at the back on, on several occasions already this season. Is that something we might look to replicate, replicate against, against them on, on Friday night? Um, without giving too much away, they're, they're very good at the way they play and it's, it's similar to, to what they done last year at Barnsley. So um, he's brought that here, but just with a better group of players. So, um, yeah, the way they play, they're... It's quite regimented, um, but they're good at it. So we've got to find a way to to break them down and, and, and to keep them out the other end. Both boxes, first goal, very vital, um, like every game. But I think when we played in pre-season, I don't even think we had a shot. Not that I can remember. I've watched the game back. And I can't even remember us causing them any problems. Maybe first five, ten minutes, we had a cross here and there. but. So yeah, we, we, this would be a good test for us to see what, how far we've come. And any other injury concerns for us tomorrow night? No, no. Everyone's pretty much fit. So obviously Sanchez on his way back, but apart from that, I don't think there is anyone.